Yo, listen up, Arch Linux is dead. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, I switched to Debian, back to Debian again. I'm not joking. The Well, I, I think if you have been following along with my channel, you have kind of saw this by now that it is going to happen. And the reasons are fairly simple. I am more of a person who enjoys their computers to be their tools and these computers need to listen to me and not the other way around. Basically, I'm not that fond of being a forced beta tester, if that makes sense to you. And I'm not really saying that Arch is bad. It's just that Arch is for this kind of people and I am that kind of people. I have been using Arch as my primary operating system on multiple computers for over a year and I have gathered a good um, experience with Arch Linux, good enough that I can confidently say that this is not for me. And basically my Arch Linux never uh, really broke, my, my installation never broke. If you follow along with the uh, pu publications that Arch Linux um, tells you on their website and if you, um, you know, follow along and update your operating system all of the time, like at least uh, once a week, um, usually everything works uh, unless when it doesn't, you know, because they tend to put uh, all of the freshly released packages into their and some of these packages are not well tested against some other software, you know, stuff like Caden Live, depending on SDL2. And uh, Arch developers have seen that SDL3 was released, so let's just give SDL3 to every single one of the Arch users and delete uh, SDL2 from their computers. Um, yes, Caden Live didn't work for months, so. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, these things are not important to some people, They're, they are important to some other people. Uh, you know, people tend to think that uh, Caden Live is unstable as a software, but generally uh, it, it used to be <laughs> very crashy before. But in the last couple of years, I have uh, been a really happy user of Caden Live. Uh, it works for me, it doesn't crash. You just have to find the version that is stable enough. Uh, and that's usually the one on FlatHub, no joke. Uh, the one on Arch Linux, still no good after like more than half a year after SDL3 was released along with SDL2 Compat and whatnot. Um, the very thing that makes Arch tick is that this is a distribution which offers you all of the shiny stuff, all of the latest and the greatest. And by design, this cannot be properly tested and things will break. Your operating system may not break uh, to the point where you cannot really use it or you don't have a chance to uh, fix it, but you will be fixing your operating system all of the time. And um, things happen, you know, uh, I am a content creator who has these uh, lightning ideas in my head, like uh, five minutes ago, I didn't really know when I'm going to record my next video. And uh, two minutes ago, I just thought, yeah, I, I want to, I want to make this video. And the way I do this, I'm now on Debian, is that I start my OBS, press record, and I start recording. After the recording is finished, I'm going to do some light editing in Caden, Caden Live and put it on YouTube. Uh, the last time when I did this on a whim on Arch Linux, my Caden Live didn't work at all. So I was kind of frustrated because I wanted my tools to serve me now. And it didn't work. I had to uh, see what is going on. Why is it not working now? And 
I, I'm saying the arguments for and against are equally good. There are plenty of people who really want uh, all of the shiny things and um, they are willing to be beta testers uh, as their life goals. Uh, my life goals are not to be a beta tester. Um, if I find a bug in a Debian stable, I will be more than willing to report it. Uh, I have been talking uh, to some of you on, on my matrix about this. If there is a good opportunity to report a bug, then why not uh, make it better for everyone? Uh, I think this kind of behavior is good for everyone on every... Um, Linux distribution, but generally Arch Linux still is for those who enjoy uh, fixing their computers when it's not them to blame. <laughs> uh, you know where this is going. Uh, so from now on, you can freely expect expect a lot more of the Debian uh, content from me. I have already um, transitioned on my laptop from Arch Linux to Debian 13 Trixie, and I have already uh, switched uh, on my main PC uh, from Arch Linux to Debian uh, 13. There is one more laptop that remains to be transitioned from Arch to Debian. Uh, I'm going to leave this after... Um, uh, after I find a little bit more time uh, to deal with that one as that one is really, really, really picky uh, as to when can I work on it. But generally, um, I just wanted to tell you that this channel is going to pivot slightly more into um, what Linux is generally about and not what Arch Linux is generally about. So look forward to that. Uh, give me a like and subscribe. And if you do want to support my channel, uh, there are all kinds of links uh, where you can do that by becoming a member of this channel, uh, going on my coffee uh, link maybe, uh, or on my Patreon. I welcome you to do anything uh, of these things, even if it's just like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for following along uh, with this channel. If you have been with me uh, from the beginning, I appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to see you in the next video.